Question number 25, match the following with respect to meiosis. In case of living beings, different types of cell divisions are present. Mitosis, meiosis, and mitotic divisions, of which mitosis and meiosis, they play an important role. Mitotic division, it occurs in the somatic cells, whereas meiosis, it occurs in gametic cells and is involved in the production of gametes. Meiosis is again differentiated into two types, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Both meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 are associated with four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase stages. Prophase 1 of meiosis 1 is the lengthy phase and is associated with the leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene, and diagrenesis of the stages. During leptotene stage, condensation or compaction of the chromosomes takes place. During zygotene stage, formation of synaptonemal complex takes place. On synapses, it begins. During packeting stage, the bivalents which are formed undergo the process of crossing over. Recombination occurs during this packeting stage between the non sister chromatids. Diplotin stage, where dissolution of synaptonemal complex takes place. As a result, X shaped chiasma is formed. And the final stage is known as diakinesis. Terminalization of chiasmata takes place. It is the end of prophase 1. Zygotin, formation of synapse, acetin where crossing over takes place, diplotin where chiasma formation is associated, diakinesis terminalization takes place. The answer is 1. So this is the concept related to NCRT. Meiosis 1 of prophase 1, it is a longer phase and it is more complex in nature and it is associated with the five stages, the leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin and diakinesis stages. In oocytes of some vertebrates, diplotin can last for months or years. And the last stage is known as diakinesis. It is marked by terminalization of chiasmata. During this phase, chromosomes are fully condensed. Meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosomes for separation. By the end of diakinesis, the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear envelope also breaks down. Diakinesis represents the transition to the metaphase state. This question came in 2019 Odisha. After meiosis, the resultant daughter cell have the same amount of DNA as in the parent cell in S phase. What is the amount of DNA in comparison to the haploid gamete? Same amount of DNA in comparison to the haploid gamete. Four types of DNA in comparison to the haploid gamete. Doubling of DNA content takes place during S phase of the interface. Meiosis 1 is the stage where distribution of chromosomes takes place. At the end of meiosis 1, distribution of chromosomes takes place. At the, meio at the end of meiosis 2, distribution of chromatids occur. As a result, what will happen in chromatids? The content of DNA will be lesser than. After meiosis 2, the chromosomal content is reduced to of when compared with the tau. As the distribution of chromatids are taking place at the end of meiosis 2, obviously the content of DNA is reduced to half. So here, after meiosis 1, the resultant daughter cells have twice the amount of DNA when compared with the tau haploid gamete. Question number 26, choose the correct pair from the following. Polymerases or the enzymes which are responsible for polymerization of nucleic acids. They are categorized into two types, DNA polymerases and RNA polymerases. DNA polymerases are involved in the replication process. All RNA polymerases play an important role in the transcription process. DNA polymerases are categorized into three types, polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. DNA polymerase 1 is involved in the process of polymerization and also it shows as exon nucleus activity. It also RNA dependent DNA polymerization. DNA polymerase 1 it exhibits exon nucleus activity. The exon nucleus activity of DNA polymerase is more pronounced. It is involved in the removal of wrong base pairs during the process of replication. Exact function of DNA polymerase 2 is not known, but to some extent it is considered as a backup enzyme. 
and it is also involved in the synthesis of lagging strand dna polymerase 3 this is the structure of dna polymerase 3 which is associated with the different types of units which is a holo enzyme related to alpha beta theta Absolutely. During the process of replication, DNA polymerase is coupled with different types of enzymes, helicase, topoisomerase, single-stranded stabilizing enzyme, ligases, DNA polymerase 1. So these are various types of enzymes that are required for the replication of DNA or DNA polymerase which is involved in the transcription process. Helicase is an enzyme which is responsible for unwinding of two strands of DNA. Or break, so which is involved in breakdown of the hydrogen bonds. Transcription or in polymerase, it plays an important role. It itself is responsible for unwinding or breakdown of hydrogen bonds. Or in polymerase is highly versatile in nature. So let us see the options related to this. Polymerases break down the DNA into fragments. It's a wrong statement, which is responsible for construction of DNA. Nucleases, the separate two strands of DNA. Nucleases or the enzymes which are involved in the breakdown of phosphodiester bonds and are responsible for formation of small pieces of DNA. So exonucleases may cut at specific portions within DNA. No, it's a wrong statement. Exonucleases, they play an important role in the repair of wrong base pairs during the process of replication. Ligases are considered as molecular glue. Ligases join two DNA molecules. So here it is the correct statement. So these are different statements related to polymerases, DNA polymerase, DNA template to catalyze the polymerization of deoxynucleotides. RNA polymerases, synthesis of RNA takes place. Nucleases are involved in a cleavage of chains of nucleotides of nucleic acid into small units. Restriction enzymes. These are the enzymes, the larger classes of nucleases. They may be exonucleases or endonucleases. Question number 27. Select the option including all sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases are also known as venereal diseases and also be termed as reproductive tract infections. So here they have given list of diseases, gonadia, gonadia, malaria and genital herpes. Malaria is not a sexually transmitted disease. AIDS, malaria, filaria. Malaria and filaria are not sexually transmitted diseases. They are transmitted through vectors. Cancer, AIDS and syphilis. Cancer, it is a non-infectious disease. AIDS and syphilis are infectious diseases. Ganaria, syphilis and genital herpes, these are sexually transmitted diseases. So the answer is 4. Sexually transmitted diseases are also known as sexually transmitted infections or venereal diseases or reproductive tract infections. Ganaria, syphilis, genital herpes, chlamydiasis, genital warts, trichomoniasis, hepatitis B and of course the most discussed infections in the recent years. HIV leading to AIDS is some of the common STI. So if they ask common STI, that is HIV. Except hepatitis B, genital herpes and HIV infections, other diseases, if they are identified earlierly, they can be cured completely. So these are different types of bacterial diseases, Ganaria, Neisseria, Ganaria, Syphilis, Tiponema, Palladium, Chlamydiasis, Chlamydia, Trichomatis, Conchroid, Haemophilus, Ducri. Viral sexually transmitted diseases, genital warts, causative organism is human papilloma virus, genital herpes, herpes simplex virus, hepatitis, hepatitis B virus, AIDS, HIV virus. Protozoan disease where trichomoniasis, a positive organism is trichomonas vaginalis. Let us see question number 28. Embryological support for evolution was disapproved by. Evidences in favor to the organic evolution is an important area where many a times you are getting questions right from this particular area. Embryology is a branch of biology that deals with the developmental stages of embryo until birth. Father of embryology is Aristotle, or father of modern embryology is Carl von Bayer. Alfred Russell Wallace is a contemporary to the Darwin. I worked on Malay Archipelago of Indonesia 
and he published a book known as Birds of Paradise. Charles Darwin, natural selection and descent with modifications or the concept proposed by Charles Darwin, a hypothesis related to chemical origin of life. The book published by O'Karen is Origin of Life. Carl Ernst von Baer he is considered as founder of modern embryology. Ernst Haeckel, he is a German zoologist, naturalist, eugenist, physician, a marine biologist. He proposed biogenetic law, which states that ontogeny repeats phylogeny. It can also be termed as theory of recapitulation. This concept was not clearly given in NCRT book. In Haeckel's biogenetic law, he stated that the higher group organisms or vertebrates during their embryonic development, they show the adult stages of other animals. He exemplified this with the development of gill slits in case of human embryo, where vestigial gill slits which are present behind the head. And this was practically disapproved by Carl Ernst von Bayer. He has taken different types of or vertebrate group organisms like fish, salamander, tortoise, chick, rabbit and man and he observed the developmental stages of all these organisms embryo. After observing this he stated that common characters they appear first as the embryonic development it progresses gradually the variations are seen between the developing embryos. At last, the distinct features appeared. So if we observe, the gill slits are seen as in the case of fishes, but the embryo does not resemble the adult fish. So he practically disapproved the theory proposed by Ernst Haeckel. Question number 29. The roots that originate from the base of the stem are primary roots, prop roots, lateral roots and fibrous roots. So answer is fibrous roots. In case of majority of the dicotyledons, root arises right from radical and it leads to primary root which grows inside the soil and it forms several secondary roots right from this this is known as tap root system and is associated with several lateral roots in case of monocotyledons the primary root is short lived as a result right from the base of the stem tuft of roots are formed which are known as fibrous roots here at first radical is there a small Primary root is formed. After that, it is replaced by is replaced by tough top fibrous roots. The roots which are formed other than the radical are known as adventitious roots. They, they may form right from the stem, but not from base of the stem, from nodes or from internodes, right from nodes or from leaves. The primary roots and its branches they constitute trap root system. Here in the diagram, they have given mustard plant. In monocotyledon plants, primary root is short cleaved and it is replaced by the large number of roots. These roots originate from the base of the stem, base of the stem and constitute fibrous root system. In case of monstera and banyan plants, in case of monstera and banyan tree, roots arises from the parts of the plant other than radical and are known as adventitious roots. All fibrous roots are adventitious, but all adventitious roots are not fibrous in nature. If we come to the functions of root, they are mainly responsible for absorption of water and minerals right from the soil. There are some roots which are responsible for gaseous exchange. Such type of roots are known as nematophores or halophytes, as in the case of rhizopora. They are useful for respiration. This question appeared in 2018. There are some roots which are involved in the storage of food material. In sweet potato, advantageous roots from the nodes of running stem. Question number 30. In gel electrophoresis, separated DNA fragments can be visualized with the help of ethidium bromide in UV radiation, astocarmine in UV radiation, ethidium bromide in infrared radiation, Estocarmine in bright blue light. This is a question which is sliced right from last year. Same type of question appeared in 2017. The motion of dispersed particles related to fluid under the influence of spatially uniform electric field is known as electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis. It is a molecular technique used to separate the samples of DNA or proteins based on the charge or size two different types of electrophoresis are present 
One is agarose gel electrophoresis, another one is polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis is used to separate the fragments of DNA. Polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is used to used for the separation of proteins. This is related to the gel electrophoresis. In case of agarose gel electrophoresis, the DNA fragments can be separated. Agarose gel is taken on a plate. The DNA sample is loaded in the wells associated at the cathode region. It is kept in the buffer solution tub. The DNA fragments which are smaller in size, they move further when compared with that of the DNA fragments which was larger in size. Here is the marker DNA with which we can identify the length of the DNA here. Motion of dispersed particles relate to the fluid under the influence of spatially uniform electric field is known as is known as electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is a molecular technique used to separate the samples of DNA or proteins based on the charge or size. Two different types of gel electrophoresis are present agarose gel electrophoresis and polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. Based on the size or length, we can separate the DNA strands through agarose gel electrophoresis. With respect to polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, proteins are isolated based on their molecular weight. The agarose gel plate and is associated with the wells at one and the wells are loaded with DNA samples. After loading this DNA sample, power is supplied. As DNA is negatively charged, it moves towards the anode. And we can observe the distribution of the DNA fragments. But this, 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 these DNA fragments cannot be seen distinctly. And ethidium bromide is added to this agarose gel. After exposing this to UV radiation, we can observe these bands in the form of orange-red color. Polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is done to identify the molecular weight of protein. Sodium dodecyl sulfate is used with respect to this polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. The areas where DNA is present can be viewed with respect to orange color bands. In case of polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, sodium dodecyl sulfate is used to develop charge in case of protein. Kumi C blue dye is used to detect the proteins. Acetocaramine is used specifically to stain chromosomes and is used to visualize the behavior of chromosomes during mitotic studies. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to Neerajas Biology Academy. Don't forget to click the bell icon for subsequent updates. Thank you.